Psalm chapter 111 verse 2 says, The works of the Lord are great, sought out of all them that have pleasure therein. Living in the countryside has put me in the midst of various creations, always awakening to a glorious sunrise. Amazed by lofty, strong hills, the flowers are like champs on bare land, the living greens are like carpet and the brown earth. All this beauty, but today I love to reflect about the trees. The trees wave their green banners in the sunlight and point us upward to their Creator, each one uniquely beautiful from the others. Here in our lessons we each can reflect on. When you look at the roots, it signifies that everything starts somewhere. No matter how great we become, we will always find our foundation back to where our roots are planted. Like trees, we all have a root where we grew from. As Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 reminds us that we are formed from the dust of the ground, unless we remember where we come from and keep grounded to our foundation, we will never grow any taller in stature or in character. In the middle, we see the trunks and the barks. In some trees, we find the annual rings, ones which tell us how old the trees have been. The trunk is the part of the tree which we most often get a hold of. Touch it as we pass by, useful as furniture to others. Like different trunks to different trees, our bare skin may vary in its beauty. Yet in life, the wisdom we've gathered from all the years we have grown can be the source of comfort for others, useful for their needs, and the source of something firm to lean on. The leaves. Leaves are the proof of many trees being alive. The leaves and foliage give people the shade that we need during the heat. Like the trees, we can only say that we are truly a living human being if we have leaves or for some trees, we are bearing fruit. As Christians, may these fruits be those that come from the Holy Spirit. The evidence of us growing are like leaves on trees that form foliages. And it's beautiful how, like it, we can give someone who is weary from the heat of life's perplexities a shade where they can rest. It's beautiful how the trees are just growing, not really thinking whether they can give a shade to one or too many. May we grow like these trees that are only ever looking upward, yes, heavenward, and in the process, being able to offer a comfort to those who are in need. But remember, a tree does not water itself, nor does it produce its own sunshine or air. To grow and survive, it is wholly dependent upon the powers greater than itself. As it grows, it is only growing heavenward. No matter how long, no matter how slow, it just grows. It does not compete with the process of the trees growing faster beside it, nor does it block the growth of the others thriving at a slower pace. Beautifully, it just grows and becomes another masterpiece of creation that helps create a refreshing and praiseworthy forest. We are to grow like these trees rooted in the firm ground in the rock of our ages, Jesus Christ. We are to grow heavenward regardless of the storms of life and winds trying to bend us. Continue looking upward to our Creator and He will be faithful and true to water us with the living waters and shine upon us the bright beams from the Sun of Righteousness. By constantly looking upward to the author and the finisher of our faith, we will grow beautifully heavenward and just like the trees, add to the beauty of nature that speak of our Creator's power. Thank you so much for watching this Reflections episode. Hope that you have been blessed. 
support us by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Always Ella. And Master's Voice Ministries. So if you have been blessed with our videos, please, please feel free to share them and like and subscribe to our channel. Thank, Thank you, you and, and God, God bless you. you.